Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra. I'm really, really excited for today's video. It's my very first thrift book haul. Yay! I've never ordered off of thrift books before, so this is the very first haul and I got 11 books. I went ham, I went crazy, because I'm excited and I've been just like reading a bunch. I also just went to the library today with Nick and we uh, checked out like four or five books, I think. Who am I? Who am I these days? Um, a little bit of the history of thrift books because it's super interesting and then I'll go into the books that I actually got was it was started in Seattle, which is super awesome. It was started on Mercer Street actually. It's cool to me because I drive on Mercer Street a lot for my job. So when I saw that, I was like, then they got like a bigger like warehouse in Auburn. I believe that's probably where they're still at. And now they have locations like across the US. Super cool. So they kind of rank it on the condition of the book. So the price will vary on the conditions of the book. So you can have, you can buy brand new books um, off of it. They have a really easy um, app to use. I love it. It's quick, it's simple. You can search by genres, you can search by authors. They have millions of books. This isn't sponsored by them, but it should be. I would love it if they did, that'd be so cool, but it's not sponsored by them at all. You also get like free shipping if you spend like over $10, which is like the, the lowest minimum I think I've ever heard of for like anything. What's great is you can buy new books and then it goes from like new to like new to very good, good, and acceptable, and then their prices are um, adjusted accordingly. So maybe I'll link their website, um, but check out the app, because that's what I use, and it, and it makes it really easy just to buy it from your phone. Having said that, I'm gonna get into the books. These are all Christian books, um, because those are my favorite to read. These are almost all new authors for me. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that, kind of nervous because I don't know if they're going to be good or not. So we'll see. We'll test out my discernment skills. <laughs> Here's my stack of 11 books. I'm so excited. Who am I? Like I've never gotten this excited for books in my entire life. Like my family, especially like my older brother would buy me books for my birthday and I would like never finish them. So he's probably just like not recognizing me at all right now because who am I? We'll just go from the first on the stack. This I've actually already started reading and I'm about halfway through. This is The Case for Faith by Lee Strobel. And this is the only one I can comment on because I've started reading it, but so far I really like it. And I didn't know that this was like the second book um, to The Case for Christ, which like is his really popular book. So now I want to also read that one. Either buy it or read it, I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably buy it because I'm really enjoying this one so far, so I know I'll really like the first one. Because I really want to grow my bookshelf with like awesome books that I would be able to like lend out to people. Alright, then my second one is Teach Me to Pray by Andrew Murray. And I got this because um, he wrote Humility, which is one of my favorite books of all time. So I was like, okay, well this has got to be a good one then. Teach Me to Pray. What? The next one is Tortured for Christ. This, I think is, this is an autobiography. We learned about him and Corey Ten Boom in Bible school, and so I'm interested to read the book. It looks, it's so small, I'll probably read it in like a day or two, so. Okay, so this one was, I think, the, the most expensive one I got out of the bunch, but I heard them talk about it on a podcast I was listening to. Growing in Gratitude, Rediscovering the Joy of a Thankful Heart by Mary Kay Moeller, who is the wife of Albert Moeller. I'm excited. She seemed really sweet in like the interview on the podcast and she was kind of just talking about gratitude and stuff and I, I really liked what she had to say on it. So I was like, oh, that sounds like a really good book. And now that I'm thinking of it, I don't really read books by women authors, which is kind of sad. I just feel like sometimes like women authors, they just kind of cater to your feelings and like feeling good and they're not as like bold and just telling you how it is and being blunt and for whatever reason, I like enjoy the bluntness. I don't know, maybe I just need to cultivate a more thankful heart. All right, and then another molar. <laughs> so I've got the wife, now I have the husband. So, and this is called Culture Shift 
The Battle for the Moral Heart of America. This sounds so good. Some other books that I've really liked kind of probably along these lines are um, Counterculture by David Platt. That one's really, really good. And then um, Right Thinking uh, in a World Gone Wrong by John MacArthur. Those two are really good with just like culture in general and the biblical way to go about culture and just the different things that can plague us. Oh, weird. That's funny. There's a... Someone's business card is in here. And then I got Things That Go Bump in the Church, which sounds really funny. I'm really excited for this one too. Mike Abendroth is one of the authors and I read his... Uh... White... Gosh, white. White evangelicals. That is not right. Evangelical white lies. There's a distinction that's so important. White evangelicals. This is explaining the Bible's most misunderstood teachings. So... This one sounds so good. This is one of the ones I'm like most nervous about in the fact that I have no idea if it's gonna be good or not. Um, yeah. I, I read this and then like for whatever reason, it jumbles in my brain. Celebration of discipline. The path of spiritual, no, see even in that I messed up. The path to spiritual growth by Richard J. Foster. Um, I have no idea if this is going to be good or not. I really wanted a book on discipline. I'm hoping I can kind of glean some stuff off of this. But it just makes me nervous when Eugene Peterson is like the very first person on the back to endorse it. I'm, I'm going to be hopeful, okay? Alright, and then I got another John MacArthur book. This is an older one, um, The Power of Integrity. Um, I think this one's going to be really good. It, building a Life Without Compromise. So I'm excited. I really like John MacArthur's sermons and his books and all that stuff. I really enjoy him. I think he's a really solid and good teacher. Okay, and then this was one I had to rebuy. Um, this is Not a Fan by Kyle Eidelman. I bought this, read it, loved it, gave it to Nick when we were dating, and he was like reading it when he was like going to college and he would read it probably like in between classes. And then he like lost his backpack which had like this and his Bible and a bunch of other things in it. So whoever got that backpack got some good resources and some great Jesus stuff. So hopefully it was an unbeliever. You get what I'm saying? But this one was only like, you know, three or four dollars. And when I paid for it the first time, I think I paid like $17. So save some money when you buy it on thrift books. And then because I really liked that book, I wanted to get another one of his books. So this is also by Kyle Eidelman and it's AHA. Awakening Honesty Action, The God Moment That Changes Everything. Because I really liked The Not A Fan, I thought I would really like another book by him, so we'll see. And then the last one, I have no idea either, um, but this is by Philip Yancey, and it's The Jesus I Never Knew. This one is really, like, tall. Yeah, I don't know anything about this. Hopefully it's good. This is my book haul. Guys, I'm doing a book haul. I feel, like, successful. These books are in really good condition. I think the only one that's in, like, the like worst condition is probably this book and it's got just like a bend, a pretty large dent in the back of the book. But other than that, like everything else looks really good. So, you know, you can tell that they're used, but you get them for such a great price. Like you can't go wrong and you're like being resourceful and you're like not letting these books go to waste. Save the trees. I feel like I'm learning a lot of information and I'd like to share what I'm learning. One, for me to be able to remember it better and two, to hopefully benefit other people too. Just provide a space where I can encourage others and tell what I'm learning and just help people with good resources. So hopefully I can start doing maybe some book reviews and anything else that you'd like to see, let me know. And other than that, guys, thanks for watching my video and I will see you in my next bit. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.